is Ham Donishman, and thank you for joining again for another series, Ferris's series video of training. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to upgrade a Smart Building Hub software. And the Smart Building Hub software can be upgraded via the Wi-Fi connection directly to the Building Hub itself, or if the Building Hub has been connected via the internet, uh, you can update the software as well uh, remotely. The software package file, uh, it's only necessary obviously when you have an upgrade uh, that you need or if there's any kind of issues or bug fixes that we have provided via uh, an email or some sort of a flash sheet that we have some issues then we have to upgrade the software of the Smart Building Hub. VersusControls.com is a, always a good location to go see for new upgrades and that would be one place uh, that we will have the information available for any kind of new files that are ready for any kind of upgrade process. So today we're going to show you how to upgrade a Smart Building Hub. My Smart Building Hub uh, is connected uh, right here next to my desk, so I'm connected via Wi-Fi. And where you have to go to do this, I'm not connected to a field uh, of any kind of devices right now, and that's why you see currently no devices. So you have to click on Settings, and you go into what's called software updates and then software updates uh, when you click on that it will uh, come up with a box like this and it's going to ask you to select and choose the file directory where you have located the file so typically obviously you should know where the file is it could be on a USB stick or you have placed it somewhere in your computer uh, that where the file is located so I'm going to click on that it'll pull up just a regular uh, open uh, Windows uh, Explorer type of uh, uh, file directory and it already had the location memorized of where I had it before so I'm going to this particular folder and I'm going to go ahead and select the file that I need. At this point the file has been selected and I'm going to click on upload. What this process is doing now it is actually uploading via the Wi-Fi the bin file, the package file that I've selected and it's uploading it into the controller. The next step should happen after this if there's no errors or any kind of error messages coming up, coming up into this screen you should get a pop-up box that tells you okay the file is ready to go and you have to just click the install button. So the upload process has been completed 100% now the Smart Building Hub is uh, basically in better words, crunching the data and trying to understand if this file is the right fit for the Smart Building Hub that we're trying to upload. And if it's the right fit, then you will get a pop-up box that it's ready to install. One quick, uh, uh, basically a reminder here that we, the Smart Building Hub is designed to always to upgrade up a new version. Currently, we do not support downgrading the Smart Building Hub. So the current version that was on this particular hub was at 1.0.0.400, and we are upgrading it to a new version of 1.0.0.753. So it is a newer version, and it's ready to be installed. So the pop-up mes message telling me what I need to do, do not disconnect the power, uh, and as far as the Wi-Fi connection, we want to make sure that it doesn't reconnect to a different Wi-Fi network. So I'm ready to hit the install button. And at this point, you'll see the red message on the top. And it's going to basically tell you that it will, we will be disconnected from the network. And the process uh, that's going to happen now, you can actually, I'm actually watching my building hub. And it's telling me uh, what needs to be done. And... Uh, and the Smart Building Hub fault LED light is flashing. And what that means is uh, it's, it's in the upgrade process right now. And this process typically takes about six to seven, possibly eight minutes before you could reconnect back to the hub. This concludes my video. Hope you uh, come back and see some other videos that we will be providing. Thank you.